You know, if they are broken, you can take them off and put it in, take off, put in, take off, put in. You know, it's like funny, you can like... Uh, this one also can do that, but it's harder to put it in. It's a little bit weaker than the right one. It's easy to take out, but harder to put in back. So. It's hard to do them both, but this one is stronger, so I can you see I can do it even faster. Yeah, but it's, it's not okay. It's not good. <laughs> I started from pole sport. Of course, I just came to pole sport. I wanted to do pole sport. Not like that those strippers. I don't like those strippers. But I was actually looking at that girls who was dancing, and I love these shoes, and I love these lines, these movements. But I didn't have a teacher. I was a, I was learning at school, studying, actually studying pole dancing. It's school where uh, were only the sport teachers. So I was doing sport. I'm tall, actually. I'm pretty heavy because of the bones. I am really um, the person with the bright bones and heavy bones, you know, I am, I am that person, yes, I am. So it was a little bit hard, harder for me to do some tricks because of the length of the body. It's always harder if you are shorter, if you are small, you're like compact, it's much easier for you to do the tricks. But I did them. I'm pretty strong, naturally pretty strong. But some some moment, um, I was growing up really fast. Uh, I wasn't prepared for that tricks, which I started to do. You know, I was just growing faster even than my teacher. So I was just um, studying by myself. I was training by myself. I just came to the class, but I was doing my stuff. I wasn't asked a teacher about to support me to like protect me to do something with me yeah, to help me to do some tricks I was doing them by myself and some moment I was just I just injured my shoulders both of them uh, first I injured uh, I've injured them when I was at school I was 15 I think I just slipped out you know this um, parallel to things I don't know how to tell them in English how they how to name call them in English uh, I had to just jump and put both of my elbows to the things and I did, did it one time, it was super easy, uh, I did it second time because it was easy, I wanted to try it again and then somebody came and uh, asked me, oh please show me again how you do that because I didn't get it and I just jumped and I just slipped out and my elbows just met, met each other above my head they shouldn't do that uh, normally physically so i've broken both of my shoulders i've um, broken these ligaments uh, inside yeah so i couldn't lift my hands higher than for 30 degrees i couldn't tell that to my parents because they're gonna they was gonna just kill me the mother she was against the sport in my life she didn't like me even to go to the um sport in school sport lesson in school no she didn't like that because i was tall i was i, I looked sportive and she was uh, scared that he she she wouldn't find uh, the uh, man for me you know that i'm too tall but i'm not too tall i'm tall actually but not not too tall so she was against the sport at all and uh, if she would know that i've injured my shoulders and so hard i knew that she she will kill me so i didn't tell that i was thinking that oh that will be okay i will uh, do that and um, i couldn't lift my hands for two years actually i was brushing my hair you know that way i'll just 
that way I, I I've learned how to wear the my clothes while I'm down yeah I'll I've learned how to make my hair I was putting my elbow to the fridge and here the here way I could do something with my one of my arms yeah that's not actually super funny but you can live with that injuries actually that's possible and um, when I was 18 it got uh, really a little bit easier I could lift my arms um, actually a little bit higher uh, and I had really super comfortable fridge in the, my in the uh, how to say the place where the students live a lot of students four students in one room yeah uh, it was a really comfortable fridge there it was high so it was comfortable for me to put my hand my, put my arm to it and I even could make the some good hair hair dance yeah cute some cute uh, I could wear the makeup so it was just good for me and when I came to the pole dance uh, I started to actually train these muscles I didn't know that I have to just make this muscle stronger so I will be able to lift my arms uh, if I gonna quit the pole dancing I will not be able to lift my arms again <laughs> so I have to do sport for all my life yes um, yes and I got stronger and now I can do a lot of things with my arms but if your shoulders are injured they are weak actually weaker than body of the healthy uh, people so I've injured my shoulders again uh, I understood I can't lift my arms I didn't know how long it could be how long they could be just repair yeah how you will take to repair for them so I decided that I gotta dance I can't do tricks so okay I gotta dance I gotta do something uh, without hands on the pole I gotta sit down on the floor and I gotta put on the music uh, I left my legs because my back also was just aching sometimes so I just lived in my legs and started to do something I was doing that for two three hours that's not important actually you know my shoulders was uh, healing healing yeah uh, pretty fast I think in uh, one month maybe in a few weeks yeah but i understood that i love to dance it was enough for me to understand that i love to dance i like that and i wanted to like um, uh, improve myself in the dancing in exotic dancing i still didn't have a teacher i didn't have any sport in my past in uh, any dance in my past i didn't have that at all I didn't know what to do I didn't know what I have to do to start so and I didn't have I didn't know where I can find that information who I can ask so I just decided to do it by myself I just thought okay I gotta look for some videos I was looking for some exotic dancers I was noticed that they do some uh, things that are same for all of them and I thought that this is base basic of the exotic pole dance i just like um found out some of that elements and just figured it out for myself that okay let it be the basement uh, the basic of the exotic dance and i started to do that basic and after i started to do that like more difficult um and that's how i became my style how i got my style i didn't have a teacher <laughs> that's all I didn't have a teacher I didn't have somebody who can help me what to do how to do that and uh, when I was looking at the stars exotic pole stars I saw that he, they are they are different from the other people who are just dancing they're different they are stronger uh, they are more, more flexible usually they have uh, they do some elements that nobody can repeat or it's hard to repeat the elements so I uh, and I didn't know that I thought that uh, all the dancers have to want to be the stars so all the dancers want to improve themselves to ground up to become a star 
So I thought that I have to come to the pole dance, uh, exotic pole dance. I have to want to be a star. I have to, and to be a star, I have to be stronger, more flexible, to make some elements that nobody can repeat, and etc. So that's why I was just making that elements like uh, more difficult. And actually, I came to my first championship um, in three months after I started to dance. Uh, three months, actually. It was hard for me to um, like hold the balance while I was in the shoes. It was super high for me. It was 15 centimeters. It was not high, actually. It's just uh, funny for exotic dancers today. Yeah, my, my shoes don't have a heel there. 23 centimeters and they don't have a heels but that time I was just coming up to the stage and I was holding the wall to I was scared to fall down yeah in three months and uh, I got the first place and I actually was I, I won actually all the championships that year so in, in one year I started to do workshops uh, in one and a half year I started to judge championships outside so it was just really quick fast like growing up for me even even if people didn't like uh, absolutely what I'm doing didn't understand but they saw that I worth something you know I'm interesting I have something to say I have something to like show people so that's why I was growing up really fast